Dazed and nauseous, but lucky to be alive. Many of these women were working on the fourth floor before the commotion started. Some had taken refuge in the toilets to escape the fumes and had to be rescued by their colleagues. Just before 11 o'clock, some workers ran out. At first, there was no smell, but after a while, there were fumes leaking out. We went to check and some workers went inside to rescue people. Within minutes, more than 100 firefighters arrived. Their priority to shut down the leak and save those still trapped inside. When we arrived, there was no fire, but we started to evacuate people. We closed the valve, blocked the leakage, diluted and cooled the scene. By now, we've evacuated dozens of people. Some remain in a critical condition after inhaling what witnesses describe as fumes from chemical fertilizer. It could take days before the cause of the leak is known. What is clear is that workplace safety in China is again under the spotlight, which could put pressure on officials to review the firm's safety and building standards. Ashley Neem, BBC News.